Hi everybody. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great uh, weekend. Um, I am actually um, just about to finish the front and all sides of this dresser and um, I'm using uh, glazes with a little bit of paint. Um, so I'm basically painting with glaze and blending them and I thought you might be interested in seeing how I do it. Um, I think it's a beautiful way to make background for art um, and I love it on this piece. So um, I basically have already done the casing and all of that, all of the areas except for the drawers on this dresser. So let me turn this around for you and I will show you here what I'm doing. I think that this is where you're gonna be able to see. Okay, so I basically have a tray and I'm using a patina glaze verdigris glaze and a little bit of Spanish olives. So you may have seen um, this finish on the, um, oh gosh, on the birds of a feather page, I did uh, a patina uh, project. So you can see instructions on that. With that one, I used uh, copper. But with this one, what I did was I took this chest and I base coated it in Wise Owl's iron oxide. And so it's a beautiful rust color and you'll be able to see down in this area how once I sand it back um, that you get that rust color here. So I'm also using a Wise Owl, a one inch round brush. It's got a, or it's got a flat tip, um, kind of like a big old stencil brush kind of thing. And then I am, uh, so I'm using that and this is really a pouncing, method so you can see i've been working down in this area and you can see how the glazes are blended um, sometimes i go a little more with the verdigris which is the bluer of the two glazes um, sometimes i go a little more you know spanish olive but basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pick up some of each color in here and this has dried a little bit over here so it's going to be a little hard to blend and i'm going to put a little more patina glaze in my tray and so I've got some color and I basically have like, you can see I've got all of the colors on my brush right here. And so I'm going to start up in this corner and I'm kind of going, I want there to be like a little bit of movement in the color. So I'm not going straight across. I'm kind of coming in here and you can see how the color goes on and it's not blended. But what you do is you just keep working with your brush and I'm really just kind of pouncing in here. Just pouncing. And you keep pouncing until there are no harsh lines in this. You can even mix up. I might have to blend a little bit more down here where I went on my drawer front. And so I did a little more green here, and now I'm doing a little bit more of the verdigris glaze with some patina thrown in to lighten it up. Again, I'm just pouncing. So I'm not using a mister bottle or anything like that. I'm just using a brush and my mediums. And then I wanna just kind of smooth that out. You can take your brush and you know smooth it out a little bit here, that's what I might do there. And then here I think I want a little bit more green. So I'm gonna move this over there so you can see where we're going from here. Um, and so we're going to pick up a little bit more of the green. And if you're watching and you have questions or you want to say hello, I would love that. All right, so again, now I have a few different colors on my brush. I have more of the um, uh, patina glaze, which is the lighter of the colors. And so I'm gonna come in here and you're gonna see, look at the big contrast, but it's not a problem because we're gonna keep pouncing and you're gonna kind of feather this in to the other areas. Maybe a little lighter pounce seems to do a good job of that. And so I'm just pouncing. And again, I'm kind of going curvy in the direction. And if you missed it, this is this finish is going over iron oxide. And so I don't want any harsh areas, so I'm just gonna keep kind of pouncing 
a little bit. And now in this area, you can barely tell where one color starts and where the other finishes and you get a lot of variation by doing this. And then you can take your, you know, cause I'm going over areas that I've already covered. Okay. So let's see if we've got, um, oh, hi Carmelina, how are you? Um, so I am now, I think I wanna pick up, I've gone kind of like from the greens and I really want this to have a lot of the blue in it. So I'm picking up my verdigris glaze here. And so I've got a lot of that on there, but I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of this kind of greeny color that I picked up before, but it's gonna be mostly blue. And that's what I want. And again, I really like kind of going in that kind of curvy motion instead of, you know, boom, 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 boom. I didn't want it to look like uh, horizontal stripes. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to softly pounce here so that it feathers the glaze in. You could do this with paint, um, obviously. I just wanted this kind of patina finish on there and these are my favorite glazes to use. And so here now you can see that we've got these colors and they're, they're blending in and I can blend a little bit more. And now I'm gonna add even more contrast and I'm going to, let's see how I get this dresser to come closer to you. All right, I got this thing on wheels, ladies, so it really helps, <laughs> it really helps a lot. Okay, and I think I've got you close up enough. All right, so now I really want more of my Spanish olive to come in here for a little more contrast, and I think it'll look nice, uh, you know, like where it kind of meets this area here too. So I've got more Spanish olive. You'll see I have more of that on here. And so let's go here. And the patina glaze gives it also like a nice little golden yellow color as well. So I like that a lot and I'm pouncing. You can probably hear the pouncing. And so again, here, I'm just going to lightly kind of pounce and I can kind of smooth here, but I'm going to lightly pounce and just kind of feather this color in to here. And this will dry glaze. Glaze takes, a little while but I'll get out the blow dryer and see what I can do to get it because I want to get this done and then I'm gonna just kind of pounce a little bit more in here and just blend that in keep going and then I'll come up in this area and we'll finish this drawer together and then if I went over an area that I thought that this was a little too much, you know, cause I wanted more of that blue. You just feather some back in, that's all. Just, you can keep adding the color until it's what you want. And I'm just gonna come in here and just soften up this. But I do like that, that Spanish olive in there. I think it's so pretty um, with the patina and the verdigris glaze. So now again, I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. I'm gonna kind of come in here and just keep feathering this in. I don't know if we have any questions. Um, oh, thank you, Carmelina, I appreciate that. I like it too. I'm very, very um, happy with it. This happened to be the dresser that I had painted in um, the base of it, box truck green. And then I had uh, hand painted metallic gold paint over an iron orchid design transfer on the front of it. And so since I was gonna be doing it over, I wanted to do something completely different. And um, I love this finish on smalls and home decor. And so I thought, let's just do this dresser. And I just thought, oh, it makes me think of like um, the beach or like a lake. I don't know, it's just really cheery. And um, I thought about putting the uh, mint by Michelle's decoupage paper, um, the poppies on the front of this, or maybe like one of the sunflowers, but sometimes I'm going to see what it looks like when it's all done. 
let me know what you think about that, like a decoupage paper on the front. I was going to, again, I was going to use poppies or the sunflower, but sometimes I think there's enough going on that it can stand alone. But let me know what you think. I'm, I'm still deciding. I'll get it all done and stand back and look at it and see what I think. All right, so I'm picking up some more. I got to be careful that I don't let it sit too long because then it does get a little harder to blend if you don't just keep going in that, you know, if you don't keep working with a wet edge, I guess is what I want to say is really um, helpful with when you're working with the glazes. Okay, glaze does need to be sealed. Um, so I will be sealing this once I get all the sanding done. I'll be sealing this up really well. And then I want to kind of blend in down here because I got a little bit you can just add, just pound your brush until you're happy with it. All right, we're gonna finish up one more. I think I'm gonna do a little bit darker here. I'm gonna, let me move this dresser over. We'll finish this drawer together. And then I'm gonna have to kind of move this a little bit so you can see, sorry for the ride, but I wanna make sure that you can see and that I can see. <laughs> All right, so let's, let me get a little more Spanish olive in my tray. All right, I wanna go a little heavier on the Spanish olive in this corner over here. I don't want everything to be matchy-matchy. Let's see if I can get you to, all right, you can see the corner here, I think. All right, so I'm gonna start up in the corner, I think, and I'm just gonna, and you can see I've got if you see, I've got all of the different shades coming in here. And I like this, using this brush, a smaller brush, it doesn't look stippled. You know those sponge finishes? I definitely didn't want it to look like that. And once you get in there and you get your sander going, it really just kind of gets all the colors to blend together. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more blue in here and just keep going. We'll finish up this drawer together and then I'll see if you have any questions. I'm pleased with this, so I like this better than the uh, Foxtrot. So, but I'm glad that I did that because when I did that dresser, um, you know, I experimented with uh, painting over a, a transfer. You know, I didn't want white or black lettering on that dresser. I wanted something metallic. And so I learned that I can do that. So it's all just another opportunity. So let me look back here and see, how do I wanna do this little area here? I think I'll just, we'll go with a little bit more of the verdigris again and a little bit of patina. And we'll just kind of come in here. Then we can finish this up together. Okay, let's see what we've got. Gotta get some more on there. Get a little bit of the brighter. Get it all covered and then we'll feather it out. Feather this out over here. Again, the lighter pounces will help it feather out a little bit. You just don't want the harsh edges so it doesn't look, you know, like you painted stripes on it. I mean, I don't have anything against stripes, but that's not what I wanted. So I think I'll just kind of come up in here a little bit and we're blending this out. Like that. And then I wanna make sure that I'm getting over here. Okay, so I think that's it. So um, anyway, uh, let me see if you have any questions. Let's see. Uh, you like just the painted finish? Thank you, Carmelina. Um, feels like water. Yeah, I was the, in, oh, in the Bahamas. I would love to go to the Bahamas. I don't know about you. You can see my sander back there. I'm in a, I'm working, it's, this is just a typical work day, so it's a mess in here. Um, and uh, let's see, okay, so I don't see any questions. 
Um, but I wanna thank you for joining. Um, if you come back and see this on the replay and you do have any questions, be sure to just leave them in the comments and uh, I'll let you, you know, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, let it dry. Um, and then I'll get the sanding done and uh, I'm going to do very simple painted knobs in kind of the same finish. Um, just keep it simple because there's a lot of color going on and uh, I really don't feel like metallic is right for it. So I'm going to do that and uh, that's it. So I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again for being here. I'll see you soon. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.